Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're going to try to determine the potential, the voltage, inside the conductor with a radius of 0.2 meters that carries a charge of 20 microcoulombs on the surface. The way to do that is to realize that first let's find the electric field around that conductor. We can do that by putting a Gaussian surface around it, just barely a small distance away from the surface, and then we can use the equation that the electric field strength times the surface area of that Gaussian surface is equal to the Q inside, the charge inside, divided by epsilon sub naught. Replacing the area by 4 pi r squared, and then we write 4 pi epsilon sub naught in the denominator, and 1 over that, of course, is equal to k. We have Q inside divided by r squared, and this is very uh, by now a familiar equation for the electric field outside a spherical object. As the distance continues, so as r gets bigger, e of course gets smaller, and of course this should not be a subscript, this should be an exponent. Then what we're going to do is realize that we can find the potential on the surface by realizing that we can take a charge from infinitely far away, a small test charge, let's call it Q, and figure out how much work it takes to bring it from here to here. Now in the previous video we've shown you how to do that, and we can say that the work done to do that is equal to K times Q times small Q divided by R. So this was the work it took to take a small object uh, with charge, a small test charge from infinitely far away where the potential is zero, all the way to the surface at the distance r away from the charge object here, and then we can say that the amount of work it took to get it from there to there is the same as the potential energy gained, which is k, the charge on the, on the sphere, the small test charge, divided by r. And that came from integrating this equation right here, the electric field equation, as we're doing work along that electric field line. And then we can say that the potential V is equal to the work done divided by the test charge. And of course, then we take this equation, KQ little q divided by R, and then multiply the times 1 over Q, this is the denominator here, the little q's cancel out, and so you can say that the voltage on the surface or anywhere outside the, the sphere is going to be KQ divided by R. So this will help us figure out the voltage on the surface. Now if we're trying to find the voltage on the surface, we'll start with this equation right here, letting R equals A. Then we're going to find the voltage inside, and then we're going to find the voltage outside at some different radius. So we'll do that in each case. So this is part A, this is part B, and this is part C. So for part A, we can see that V, when R is equal to A, is equal to K times Q divided by A. So that would be 9 times 10 to the 9th times Q, which is 20 times 10 to the minus 6, all divided by A, which is 0 0.2, and that of course would be in terms of volts. Well, with the calculator, let's figure out what that is equal to. So we have 9e to the 9th times 20, oop, 20 e to the 6 minus divided by 0.2, and that gives us 900,000 volts. So the voltage on the surface, V on the surface, is therefore equal to 900,000 volts. Now for part B, when we're trying to figure out the voltage inside the sphere, we realize that has to be exactly the same as the voltage on the surface, because there's no electric field inside the charge conductor. So therefore, we can say that V inside must be equal to V on the surface. And this pen is drying up, so let me grab a new one. 900,000 volts. So the voltage inside, the potential inside, is exactly the same as the potential on the surface. Now, for part C, what if we want to find the voltage at some distance away? Like right here, where now R is equal to 0 0.5 meters. Well, we take the very same equation we had before, but we change R. So now we get uh, R is equal to 0 0.5 meters. So that's going to be equal to K times Q divided by R, which in this case is 9 times 10 to the 9th. The charge, 20 microcoulombs. And divide that by R, which is now 0 0.5. 
And of course, that's in terms of volts. So we take 900,000 uh, times 0.2 divided by 0.5, which now would be 360,000 volts. The volts of this is equal to 360,000 volts. And that's how we can determine the potential inside, on the surface, and outside a charged conductor. Again, we start with electric field. We use that to find out how much work it takes to take a test charge, small q from infinitely far away where the potential is zero, all the way to the surface. When we do that, we end up with this equation right here. We divide that by the test charge size. We get an equation for the potential on the surface, for the potential inside, which is the same, and for the potential outside by changing the value for r. And that's how it's done.